2007-2008. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Um, my name is uh, Honorable Simon Bogo, but my votes did not uh, meet to standard. I know the politicians here understand what I'm saying. I'm from Nakuru County. I'm privileged my senator is there. And uh, Your Excellency, I have this question. My question is mainly, are we going to vote the people of diaspora? And again, I need you to give me an assurance, because I know we are going to win this election, because I'm a UDA member. <laughs> I need you to give me an assurance that. I heard uh, the other time Honorable Sabina Shege saying that they will do something, stealing the votes. I will be so bitter when I'm working so hard bringing people from Pennsylvania to Washington to register as voters, and then at the end of the day, they come to steal our votes. So I just need your assurance, sir, that nobody is going to steal our votes, and you are going to work on that. Thank you so much. <laughs> on your first question, yes. Um, there is provision, and um, I think there are states and countries, and they keep increasing. The capacity of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is being built so that we can have more Kenyans in the diaspora voting. Uh, there will be opportunity for people in America to vote. I wish we could make it a lot more easier for them to vote. And I think progressively and going into the future, hopefully uh, when we form government in August, we will, have, we, will, we will have a diaspora ministry that can actually look into the issues of diaspora, their concerns, their voting rights, and all that. So, yes, there will be opportunity for people in the diaspora to vote, not to the extent that uh, uh, everybody will, because it is limited by capacity and by extent to which that can happen. And I think not, not in every country uh, outside Kenya, I think there is a list of, I think, almost 10 countries where people can vote. But that's work in progress. I think there were three, four countries before. I think the, the IBC will continue building that capacity. On your second item as to whether the vote will be stolen, it's part of that recklessness that uh, I, was, I, was, uh, I was talking to, the, 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 the recklessness in uh, because you remember um, the events of 2007-2008 uh, were premised on a stolen election. And we keep, you know, uh, hearing this stolen election uh, narrative. And what we are asking is that every candidate in this election must commit that they will accept the outcome of the election. Mm -hmm. And if they query the outcome of the election, it should be um, using constitutionally stipulated mechanisms and not uh, pushing people to war. Uh, unfortunately, some of the candidates have never committed themselves to accept the outcome of an election, whatever election. But I hope this year we should be able to push them to, to that level. And finally, is to say that um, I am very confident from where I sit that no election will be stolen. Thank you. Do we have a question over here? Uh, thank you very much. My name is Karanja Gashusha, and I'm a um, journalist here in the U.S. I'm uh, actually.